So when we were in uh, Tucumcari working on the bus, I, I was talking with uh, John's truck service, uh, Steve there, and he had recommended that uh, I possibly put scoops on the side of my bus. So these would be scoops that fit right along here and they would catch air and, and direct air into, into the radiator here. Well, I posted a post on the Vintage Bus Mechanics and uh, it was overwhelmingly uh, against that idea and said that uh, what you need to do is, is really kind of go through the entire cooling system, that the cooling system should be uh, good enough to handle whatever uh, heating uh, that, that this bus would be presented with. So what I've decided to do, I've got these two radiators up here. got one right here and this radiator looking at all of this down below it is going to be decidedly more difficult to get out. But I look at this side and we got a radiator up here, got a hose connection and down underneath here looks like we got access to just a couple of bolts that uh, that may be able to uh, get the radiator out so what we're doing right now is we uh, we loosened up the the lower hose and we ran a screwdriver up in there to get enough uh, get antifreeze to, to leak out and we're capturing this in an old wash tub and uh, and then we're pumping some of it over here into a five gallon bucket uh, this holds 28 gallons of antifreeze, so this is a 17 gallon wash tub, and then we got five gallons over there, so that should be enough to get the antifreeze level down below these radiators, and we start taking, there's a hose connection back there, and this hose connection up here, and I'm hoping there's just a couple of bolts here. And uh, we opened up this compartment here and we should have access to the radiator to just pull it out. Uh, I have a source here in uh, Fresno that will, uh, will take these radiators in and redo them. Uh, so I'm going to take one of them in <laughs> and see what they charge me for that. And, uh, and then I want to know, I want to know what the status is of that radiator. Now, if that radiator is 25% plugged or something like that, then it would uh, be worth the hassle of going through to take this one out. But if, if this, if this radiator comes back with a clean bill of health and it's uh, nice and clean, I'm not going to bother with this one because I'm going to figure they're both probably about the same. One of the other things that uh, people had mentioned on the forum is to make sure that these rubbers uh, here, there's one up here and there's one at the top here. And these are air dams that uh, keep air from circulating over the top of the radiator and kind of forces all the air down through the, the fins of the radiator. So as you can see on mine, they, are, they look like they're in pretty good shape. Uh, and then double check these louvers to make sure that they're working properly. Uh, mine have always worked properly. They're open when they're supposed to be open and closed when they're supposed to be closed. But uh, hopefully we're, we're thinking we could get a, a few bolts out and this radiator should slide right out once we get all the hoses disconnected. We're trying to take this radiator right hand side radiator out we've got the bottom bolts removed so the radiator is movable but the question is we don't have much room up at the top here but yet we've got this hose drain right there that's going down through the uh the flashing here behind the louvers how do we get that up enough to be able to slide this radiator out here we are on uh, day two working on removing this radiator and 
we got to work on now is removing that hose get that pulled down off the radiator I put some uh, PB blaster up on the top of that hopefully uh, what I'm hoping happens and I'm not sure if it is or not but that hose slides down and depending on the length of that uh, spigot or that that tube coming out of the bottom of that radiator I'm not sure how we get enough room to get that to slide out all right we are way past the point of no return uh, just prying up on the bottom of this is so rusted that we've knocked a, about a one inch hole in the bottom of that pan so We'll see what the radiator shop can do to fix that. But we got the, you know, we're trying to not take as much apart as we possibly can. And as it always is, you end up fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. So we're taking these louvers out and we do have this bottom flange up above the, the uh, deck here. But the problem is we have no room up here and we've got a flange on the back side there that's got to come by this. So we're going to take the louvers completely out. We're going to take this uh, rubber flange completely off. That should allow us to move the, head, the top of this over and uh, hopefully have some room to be able to kind of tilt this a little bit and get it to uh, get it to slide out uh, taking these louvers out you got two bolts that are holding the bottom or at least on mine and then you got two bolts that are up in the top and the bolts that are up in the top seem to have a threaded nut up in there so all you have to do is just take them out and this whole louver mechanism comes comes loose and then back here, the, the uh, mechanics of it, I think if we take this nut off right there, this whole thing should slide forward without uh, taking all of this apart. So you can see we've got, the, we've got that flange. It does not unscrew. So you really do have to kind of pry and, and uh, you know, thankfully the deck is kind of a flexible aluminum and you just got to get in there with a pry bar and push it down and, and pull on the radiator at the same time. And uh, uh, we're, we're eventually going to get it out. It's just, yeah, we have to. Um, <laughs> yeah. My dad says, yeah, we have to now. Either that or I'll be driving this thing all the way back to Virginia with uh, with one radiator. All right. Okay. The louvers had to come completely out. So now we're able to kick the bottom of this radiator over. And we may not have to take that top rubber off and we're trying our best not to destroy the bottom rubber but you can see the hole in the bottom of this so it's probably a good thing that we're doing this let's close this gate
right, it's coming down. Uh, hang on a second here, cast. All right. Have you got it at yeah. all? I got some of it. Okay. Okay, this is what my uh, radiator bay looks like. Uh, this whole top piece here has a cable running through it. And that is actually the uh, airline for the actuator on the, uh, on the louvers. And it goes right through, they ran it right through the, the deal I may I may cut this out just to make a, a groove for it to fit in. But anyway, that fits up at the top. And then all of this here, this was the the hole that, that we were trying to get that lip out of. And then there are these mounting pieces. Uh, there's kind of a rubber on the top and bottom, and you can see how, how badly degraded this is. Uh, but that fits down in there, and that's what the uh, there were two bolts. One ran uh, one up on this end, and another one uh, right down here. There were bolts that ran up through there. One of them we got out, and the other one uh, snapped off. So I'll get with Lucas and see if he's got these parts. If not, uh, Chris over in Indian Indian uh, Indianapolis. Uh, but these are the air dam rubbers uh, that keep the air from flowing uh, around the radiator and uh, and this one here is on the other side this let's see this whole thing needs to be turned but we've got some cleanup to do we'll clean all of this up and we've got a bracket here that uh, had snapped off, so we'll have to re-rivet re, uh, that back into place. Got another one over here that's actually kind of loose and look like the rivets and stuff are just, whoever did the rivet job on this really did kind of a poor job. So we got one uh, attachment here. This is where the expanded metal actually uh, goes on. There's another one that's missing up here. So we'll have to find that. It's around here somewhere. I'm sure it got knocked off while we were trying to get the radiator out. But all in all, we took the radiator down to the shop. They looked at it. And uh, they kind of told us that, uh, yeah, they, they, they can repair it. The guy that was actually going to be doing the work looked at it and said, no problem, we'll rebuild it. Don't have any idea what's going to cost me to get it back. So wish me luck. One other thing uh, with the uh, shape of this radiator, it kind of makes me really not want to ignore the other side uh, the other side's down there at the end of the bus and that one's going to be even more difficult to get out but i almost need to do it as well so we got some work cut out for us